Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here today. Well, we are on day three or part three, not day three, part three of our Christmas decorating series of 2023. We have so far, we have decorated my bedroom with a beautiful vintage tree. If you did not see that, make sure you go check that out. We've decorated my living room with my big tree and my mantle, which are the showcase section of my home. And then Today, we're gonna to move into the dining room. Now, my house is small and it is open concept. So right now I'm sitting in my living room. I'm looking at my dining room. I'm looking at my bedroom. I can see it all, it's all around me. Um, so my dining room is not very big, but it consists of some big pieces. I have my dining room table, which by the way, is a handmade piece that my husband made. I have my hutch custom made that he made as well. They're all large pieces. And then I have another shelf in the corner, which I purchased from Amazon, but I feel it full of tchotchkes and collectibles and things that I have gathered up over the years that just, I just make lots of vignettes. To me, it's like an adult size tear tray that I can decorate and I love decorating that shelf. I also have a pencil tree tucked in the corner that I'm gonna decorate that's all gonna be included in this video. So even though we have a small space, we have a lot to decorate. I'm doing something just a little bit different with my hutch this year. I think you're gonna like it. I love it. I think it's so smart and it just, it's something different to look at and You'll see, you'll see it in a minute. So we've got a lot to decorate and we need to get started. But real quick, let me just say, this will be a voiceover video today because the house was full when I was decorating. So it was easier for me to do it that way. I don't like doing voiceovers, but at this point I don't have a choice. I had to get this house done. So let's get started and I'll see you when we're done. If you have been watching my channel for any period of time, you know that I am the queen of dishes. I have dishes for every holiday and dishes for every season. I have Christmas dishes, Halloween dishes, spring dishes, fall dishes, all the dishes. And I normally display them in this beautiful hutch that my husband David built for me. But this year I thought I was going to try something different. I decided that I was going to display all of my Christmas village in here instead of putting all of my Christmas dishes up. And you guys, I love it. I love how it turned out. It looks so stinking cute and I am really enjoying it. Every one of these houses, of course, normally would need to be lit up with a little bulb, but because each one of my little shelves has an up light or actually a light coming from the top shining down, I don't have to take the time to put individual bulbs in all of these houses. And that's my favorite part because Putting those bulbs in every one of those houses is so tedious and it is my least favorite thing to do when I put my Christmas village up. The interesting thing is that even though the shelf that I normally put my village in is a lot smaller than this hutch, there was not any room to be had on this hutch. Everything fit perfectly. I used the same exact houses, um, no more, no less. They all fit perfectly and there was a place for everything. So it's funny how even though that other shelf looked a lot smaller, it probably was about the same size, I guess. The other shelf is a little deeper than the hutch is. Lily was a little sad that she did not get to put the village up this year. This is usually her job and she really enjoys doing that. Um, she and Tanner have actually started their own village. They bought their first house this year and I remember her growing up always saying that she wanted a village of her own to go in her house. I actually bought a lot of these houses for her in hopes that one day I would be able to pass them down to her but so far she has not had the room anywhere she's lived to be able to put a village of this size so maybe one day i'll be able to pass this village down to her i really hope so because she's got a lot of memories um, of putting this little village together and by the way my mom used to do a village every year even more elaborate than this and that's where she and i get our love of this village from is from my mom Next, we're going to decorate the garland over the top of the hutch. You see here, I've only got four different types of stems that I tuck in here. So easy, so pretty, so over the top, but yet so simple.
my sister made that beautiful velvet bow for the middle of the garland and with it being in the middle I'm able to put two different stems on each side and it makes everything even and the bow acts as the odd in the middle which would be five so I just put two on each side of each one of those stems Now we're moving over to my Amazon shelf. This is a giant tiered tray for me. <laughs> I love decorating this shelf. It is so much fun. I like to layer it. I like to pack it full. I like to just make different heights and different textures. It is so much fun to decorate this shelf. And I like to add all of my little tchotchkes and little collectibles and breakables and thingamabobs and all the little things that you collect over the years I like to bring them all together in one spot as opposed to having them kind of strung all over the house and I know that sounds funny for me to say that because my house is literally piled full of Christmas decor but really when you think about all of these small little ceramic pieces I don't have them strung all over um, I could but I just like them all in one place and that's why I love this shelf so much because I can just put everything together on different heights and add a little greenery and make little vignettes. I mean it's an opportunity to make five little vignettes and that's my favorite thing to do of all time is it's just um, place everything together and make it all look nice. I have a handful of framed Christmas pictures that I bring out every year and I did my best to try to display all of them. Um, I like to mix my pictures, my family pictures, along with my decor. It just makes it, I don't know, it just looks better. I feel like if I was a guest in the house and I was looking at this vignette, I'd like to look at family pictures mixed in with all of the regular decor. I think it would make make everything look more homely and inviting and like a real family lives here and it's not, not just a display that you would see at the store. This little Santa Claus was one of my all-time favorite thrift store finds. Turns out he was um, quite a nice little collectible that I found for just a couple of dollars at the thrift store. And I didn't even know what I had. I, I don't know what the name brand is. I feel like it's called Fabrique or something like that because his clothes are actually like stiffened fabric. But um, I love him. And then I thought this doily looked like maybe a woven rug that would be sitting under his chair so I added that and then I remembered that I had another small doily so I had to go back and add it to the shelf on the top so that's what I'm doing there
those picture frames, by the way, are just Dollar Tree picture frames that I took some red ribbon and um, made a bow and then put a bow in the middle on the one of Lily. And then the one of Summer, I had some red and white twine, like some baker's twine, and I just kind of wrapped it around the top and then hung a little piece of greenery to the side. And it just fest made that uh, those picture frames look so festive and cute. Otherwise, they would have just been plain straight out of the Dollar Tree. And of course, this is all of my Johanna Parker pieces that I've collected. I think my sister-in-law must have bought that cream and sugar set for me for Christmas because I have no memory of buying that. And I think she also bought me a salt and pepper shaker set too because I ended up finding, finding it when I was taking out all of my Christmas decor and I did not remember buying it at all. We're moving on to my dining room table. This is my crowning glory to my table, my coveted tiered tray that David made for me. I am always looking for little miniature pieces that I can decorate my tiered tray with. I decorate it for all the seasons, um, just throughout the year, just because I just love it. It is usually in the center of my table. Every once in a while, I'll take it down and I'll just put a flower in the middle, but Nine times out of ten, you're going to see that tear tray if you come into my house because I love it so much. And I just enjoy decorating it. I, I guess maybe the collector in me loves to collect the small pieces and put them all together. I just like the clustered look. The cluttered, clustered, I don't know what the word is. I just like the way that it looks. I know tear trays may not be in style anymore. I don't know if they are or not, but this one right here will be in my house until I die. <laughs> I will never get tired of this tray. I just love it so much. So of course, when you're decorating this tray, you have to do the front and the back. This is the front and we're gonna move now to the back of the tray. my secret to decorating the tray is layers make some things high some things low if you've got two salt and pepper shakers make one higher than the other use large items don't be afraid to use big pieces mix them all together that's how i'm able to achieve the look that i love with my tear tray It's not very often that I don't set my table. I normally have, like I said, I am the queen of dishes, and I normally have a full dish set on my table. But since I did not decorate the hutch with the dishes, I didn't want to drag them out just for the table. So I decided to keep my table simple and just put my vintage placemats down, and it's it's fine. I love it. I'm enjoying it, and I don't miss the all the 
moving all the dishes out of the way every time I want to use the table. And then this is my back door, and I have a total of $13 in garland on this door. It is cheap garland from Hobby Lobby. They're 50% off. I mean, sometimes you can get them for 60% off, but when I was purchasing mine, it was 50 and it took two strands to go all the way around. Now, how much money you put into it after that is going to be up to you. I have, oh goodness, I have one, two, three, four. I have about four different sticks and stems that I, I stick in here to fill it all up. But I really don't have a lot of money because everything came from Hobby Lobby and everything was 50% off. With the exception of the eucalyptus, it came from Walmart and I probably paid $1.35 for that. But all of the other pieces were on the 50% off sale at Hobby Lobby. So it's up to you how much you're wanting to invest in that. But you don't have to invest a lot to make it beautiful. I will say that the little red berries that I add in just a few minutes make all the difference they were you know everything looks pretty and fine but when you add those berries in it just elevated it to another level and just made all the difference in the world The little pencil tree is going to be next. This pencil tree gets decorated with all of my leftover ornaments. <laughs> I might have bought maybe one or two things specifically for this tree, but a majority of it is leftovers. And it always turns out pretty. You can't look at it and see that it is full of leftover ornaments. It looks like it was intentional and it just, it fills that little space there. Um, very nicely it's the perfect size the perfect width and I am really enjoying this tree this is the second year that I have put it here and I love it Make sure you guys come back and watch my full house tour because after I finished decorating, I didn't do like a pan around the room view of everything because I really wanted you to be able to see it during the house tour in its entirety and see how magical everything looks. When we're sitting here in the living room at night watching TV, we can see everything and it all together just looks so magical and so Christmassy and it just gives you all the feels and I want you to experience that just seeing it just how we see it.
All right, everybody, that's all that I have for you for today. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me and decorate with me. It means the whole world. The next thing you're gonna see is my kitchen decorate with me and probably my bathroom combined. It's, it's coming to an end, we're wrapping it up. We don't have too many more videos coming with uh, decorating, but we've got lots of Christmas content coming your way this year. So I hope if you have not liked and subscribed that you will do so and join me with all my adventures. Until next time, I love you all and I'll see you later, bye.